It was Alec Baldwin's reckless behavior and the cost-cutting measures on the set of Rust that led to the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Those are the allegations made in a new wrongful death lawsuit just filed in civil court. Why is Alec Baldwin responsible for what happened? Alec Baldwin, number one, was in charge, one of the people charged with safety on the site. Number two, he was holding the weapon that shot and killed another human being. There was no need for him to shoot the weapon. The suit, which alleges at least 15 safety practices were disregarded on the set, blames Baldwin, the film's armor and assistant director and others for failing to keep Hutchins safe. The law firm representing the Hutchins family also creating this startling animation, which they say shows how the shot was fired from four feet away. They allege the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, was unqualified, which she denies. But in a statement, Gutierrez-Reed does agree with Hutchins' attorneys, who say the production utilized aggressive cost-cutting practices that endangered cast and crew. Baldwin's attorney continues to deny those claims and says Baldwin was not reckless, adding actors should be able to rely on qualified professionals rather than deciding on their own when a gun is safe to use. I, I feel that, that, that uh, someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. In a previous interview, Baldwin said he was aiming the gun at Hutchins, at her instruction. I'm holding the gun where she told me to hold it. Alec thinks he's the victim. He's blaming Helena. Helena did nothing to cause this, and it's really despicable that he would come out and blame the victim. As for the criminal investigation, it remains in the hands of the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. They tell us they hope to wrap up their findings in a matter of weeks. If there are criminal charges, that recommendation goes to the district attorney for possible prosecution. But that case is completely separate from the wrongful death civil suit. Hoda. All right, Miguel, thank you. And we do have a programming note. We will be sitting down with Matt Hutchins for his first interview since the shocking loss of his wife. We will discuss this new lawsuit, how the family is trying to move forward. They have a young son. We'll bring you that exclusive conversation next Thursday right here on Today. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.